Hello, it's your boy Nick Ravelli. You on Nick Ravelli TV? Make sure y'all like and subscribe, y'all, at the end of this video. Well, it looked like Frank Nilakina could very well be coming across some crossroads, y'all. It looked like he might not no longer be a Nick. Now, I know we've been down this road before concerning Frank Nilakina, but it seems as if this young man pissed some people off along the way. Frank Nilakina used to have an agent who is now the team president, y'all, of the New York Knicks. He go by the name of Leon Rose. Frank Nilakina fired Leon Rose when he was in charge of the artist agency department. And now he becomes the team president. At the time when Frank Nilakina fired his agent, Leon Rose, the word was that Leon was pissed. So payback's a bitch, y'all. And what's crazy, although we all know that Frank Nilakina is a phenomenal defensive player, he still struggles, or shall I say he's passive, on the offensive end. Now, Frank Nilakina, he does have, a, a, I say, at least one accolade, y'all. He was the youngest Nick to ever score a 20-point, 10-assist game. We never seen Frank Nilakina have a game like that. Could it have been because Leon Rose was the president of the New York Knicks at the time, y'all? I'm going to say it again. Leon Rose is now the New York Knicks president. Frank Nilakina knows he has to play his heart out because Leon Rose is looking for revenge, y'all. That's right. Our 2017 lottery pick, Frank Nilakina, might finally be seen... Bye-bye. That's right. He just might get his walking papers, y'all. Mm-hmm. When we talk about the NBA, y'all, it's a business, man. It's not checkers, it's chess. Sometimes it has nothing to do with what you're doing on the court, but very well what you do off the court. You establish relationships with, you know, people, general managers, coaches, and, you know, when people move up and get promoted, they remember how they was being treated while they was climbing up that ladder. Mike Miller, New York Knicks coach presently, was impressed with Frank Nilakina's progress. He says that, you know, it was a time when he wasn't looking to drive to the basket. Now he's doing that. He see an open lane, and he's shooting for it. But is Frank Nilakina doing this on the sole purpose of Leon Rose? Hmm? You got to watch who you come across. You can't step on no toes, man. I don't know why Frank Nilakina fired Leon Rose. I don't know the cause of that. But I know if we look at Frank Nilakina's numbers, it still isn't all that great. He shoots, what, 39% from the field? 32% concerning the three ball, y'all. Yeah. That's nothing really to brag about. And he's in his third season as a point guard. Wow. And his support system is gone. Phil Jackson brought Frank Nilakina in to the Knicks. Steve Mills backed him up behind that move. He don't have the same support system no more, man. So Frank Nilakina could very well be out of here, man. He could very well be out of here. Me personally, I think Frank Nilakina, his back got to be against the wall in order for him to get inspiration on the court. He played Team France, played a wonderful game. I believe he was hyped up because he was playing for his country. He had a 20-point, 10-assist game. Mm -hmm. Everybody was shocked by his performance once again. But now it comes out that he could have been playing for his dear life out of fear that if he don't show up, that Leon Rose is going to ax his ass. I need to know in the comments what do you think. Leave in the comments... Do you think Frank Nilakina is getting short under the stick?
it's time for him to go anyway. I mean, express yourself to Nick, y'all. Peace.